It's that time again, we're back with another game convention or presentation. And this time we're looking at a state of play 2024. Hopefully there's some crazy announcements, but without further ado, let's get stuck in. Let's see what's cooking at Sony. What the f is this? No way power on the state of play. Starting with the return of two beloved RPGs from the original PlayStation. Woo! Ooh! Yo! All right, let's go. Oh my God, the frames on that is crazy. Oh, Astrobot. I heard a lot of good things about this game, but I haven't looked at gameplay yet. Oh shit, is that Helldivers? That's kind of awkward, eh? I mean, last I checked, Helldivers ain't doing too good right now, but here we go. I think that's Helldivers. I'm surprised they're opening with this since the game's out already. Five new online speedrun levels. Is this like DLC already? What? Oh, that looks cool. What the? F so I, this is my first time actually looking at gameplay. I can see where the Mario Sunshine references come from with the booster. Ten new bots. <coughs> Who is that? I feel like I know that character. Oh, that's Stellar Blade. Yo. Okay, and Helldivers. I think it's Stellar Blade. Nice. It's a free add-on. Okay, that's a win. I thought it was going to be like paid DLC. Not a bad start. A little simple expansion. Listen to me, bad one. If you don't dare to walk the midnight walk, I thought that was um a voice actor I recognize. What the f from the creators of Lost and Random. Oh, this is like... What did they call the motion? Like... Stick motion or something? I, I forgot. PSVR 2. Is it like clay claymation? That Maybe that's the term I was looking for. This is trippy. Play on PS5 or PS VR2. This looks so trippy. Could you imagine hitting a damn joint to this? God damn. The Midnight Walk. This looks interesting, like the art style, the, the, the claymation style. This would be a crazy game to play if you smoke some weed, man. I'm telling you, you might not sleep. I don't remember when it happened, but I remember how I felt. Father told us to hide when they came to our house. Then, then they Shooter? came away. Guns. I couldn't play outside anymore. Everyone had fled. What the fuck is going on here? He was sick. But we would be okay. Oh, that looks cool. Monsters didn't exist. I thought they lived under my bed. We were both wrong. They lived inside our heads. Oh, that was weird. What are they? Oh, this is not a shooter. Hold on. Who made this game? Oh, wow. That's that landmass was so cool with the blue flowers. Oh, I thought the game was called Hell. <laughs> I was like, hold on.
Wait, is this the main character? Hell is us. Listen, y'all need to go pray, man. It's, uh, for a second, I, hey. <laughs> hell ain't me. I'm just saying, hell ain't me. It might be you, but it ain't me, though. Don't put that on me, man. I, I, I ain't a part of this. It looks interesting, though. This was made by Nakon Rogue Factor. Okay. Interesting stuff so far. So far. My story is a tale of rules rewritten by nuclear Yes, VR2. Oh, hey, Serda. I haven't played VR in so long. I hate the commitment, right? Like, it's like once you start, you gotta commit to the game. There's no looking around. Oh, this would be true. That would be trippy to play. Yo, VR horror games is a whole different experience, bro. <clears throat> Metro, is this like the actual Metro se uh, series? Is this a part of that? It kind of has a similar uh, cover, but like a different background. Cacao Games, Excel so. Games. We're not getting shooters yet. Long ago, you humans slaughtered each other until the whole world lay. Oh wow, this looks very fluid. And yet, you have been granted another chance in Aurora. Wait a minute. Be the will of your beloved mother goddess. However, is this Final Fantasy? What the f is this? What am I looking at, bro? Online multiplayer? Is this like a Monster Hunter game? This looks crazy, man! If you survive this trial... Art Perhaps Age Chronicles. One of us. What the f*** is this? Coming 2025. Okay, I may as well say, this is the most impressive one I, I've seen yet, like... The animation is so fluid and, and just like, oof. I want to say the gameplay looked enjoyable, but the visuals was also very impressive to a point where I was like, wait, is this Final Fantasy? Like, what the hell? So far, they're having a good state of play. No way, power on the state of play? Nintendo don't like that. Mm-mm. The frames are insane though, what the f***? Is this like two frames? Oh, I didn't get this far in the game, oh shit! It's fine though, it is what it is. Oh, is this going to be like a boss rush mode? Or is it the complete game? Oh, because Power World ain't on PlayStation. It wasn't on PlayStation up until this point. Nintendo boy, you better close that gate quick. You better close it. <laughs> hey. We have a few more games with breaking news today. Starting with the return of two beloved RPGs from the original PlayStation. Ooh! 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 Ooh!
this is Lufia. This is Lufia. Oh my God. Hold on. I know that earth anywhere. I know that flying creature. My bro, my heart rate just increased because I'm, I'm going to say now I'll probably be disappointed, but I'm wait a minute. Nah. Okay. I was going to say, I hope this state of play brings back some JRPGs. I grew up on man. They said the original PlayStation, so it's not going to be Chrono Trigger, but I, I was thinking Chrono Trigger. Let's see what happens here, man. This is Lufia. Lunar, sorry. Lunar. I, I played the PSP remake. Lunar Remastered Collection brings together the Silver Star Story Oh man, I thought I thought it was gonna be remade. It's fine though, it's fine. Fantastic game. The PSP one that I played was so good. Fantastic game, man. Lunar Remastered Collection comes to PS5 and PS4 in The artwork is cool. Two updates on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Ah, oh, man. The Radical Reptiles DLC, which adds Mondo Gecko Yo. and Lisa playable characters. And for no extra My heart cost, rate. a remixed in-game soundtrack featuring some amazing guest composers. My heart These rate, man. Later today. It's below negative right now. I'm dead. What the fuck? The world ends with you? Bruh. <laughs> Shadow? Correct. I've taken on another form. What do you mean? And yes, you heard right. Keanu Reeves is joining Sonic X Shadow Generations as part of the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie pack. This update is inspired by scenes from the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie and arrives December 12th. The Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie pack is included in the Digital Deluxe Edition, Wait. which lets you play the game three days ahead of its October 25th release date. They already got... So I nah, they capitalized on that shit. They ain't wasting no time, man. They said, listen, we're going to make sure we get... We're going to ride this movie hype the whole way through. We're going to get Keanu in the game. This is the, um, this is Sakaguchi's game that he had on the iOS. I forgot what it was called. I want to play this. This is like his final, the last, the most recent game he made. The man makes great stories. Hello, State of Play. Woo! I'm Sakaguchi, producer of Fantasy Anime. Listen, I hate to pause, but this man is a legend in my eyes, man. Like, this man is a legend. Like, the amount of stories that he's given us at high quality. <laughs> hey man, listen, the only games I've yet to finish that he made, that he created like story-wise is The Last Story. I watched my brother play the end of Blue Dragon, but I got to play through the game, Lost Odyssey and Fantasian. This game here, man. Sakaguchi is a legend like holy smoke. That's why he's the goat. The goat. Yeah, and the diorama backgrounds, it just looks so interesting. I like the frame rate too. Oh! They got Nobu on this bitch? What? You already know this is going to bust. The boss model, the fact that he pulled, like, uh, uh, oh, wow. My concern with the diorama was that I thought it would be limited to objects that he had available to him, but this looks hella like... This is on some Midgar shit, man. I love this. Nobu's on the soundtrack? December 5th. What's crazy about this is he's on a Sony presentation, like... You know what I'm saying? I never thought I'd see that. Just over a month away from the release of Dragon Age the Veilguard. Let's check in with BioWare and Electronic Arts for an extended look at a climactic battle. Sorry, I keep checking my phone just to make sure I'm not getting um blasted. Pause, hey yo. We've gotten word from the wardens. So this is Dragon Age? Not yet. But they found something else worth killing. 
One of her blighted dragons. Good. Wouldn't miss it. We have unfinished business with that dragon. We've tracked it to a ruined. We got ourselves a dragon hunt. That lair is a death trap. We need to lure her out to have any chance. So we challenge her, draw the dragon out into the open, then attack. Just you and me now. Let's see it. Everyone, get ready. Wardens, ready ballistics. We got some ballista action. Ooh, the sound design on that was crazy. God damn, man. And the blue flames? Second detachment. Flank on the walls. Let's go. Corius the Ice Talon. Who? Okay, I've never seen Dragon Age gameplay. What the fuck is this? A black hole? I didn't know Dragon Age had that kind of gameplay. I wonder, is it like a single player or is it only co-op? Oh my goodness. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, the force field. Oh, we got the, the skill wheel. Oh, you can give orders so it stops to get what the f My only gripe with what I'm saying right now is like the music isn't memorable right it's like very generic it looks like the flame stays on too almost like the the wound system in monster hunter what's this okay setting skills seems to be like a oh that's an a shock gauge excuse me Oh, she a bad bitch. It's a whole opera. Oh my god, tentacles? Woo! Right into his damn mouth. What in the Royal Rumble's going on? Your battle is already lost. <sighs> October 31st, there was a lot to unpack there, man. I oof, there was a lot to unpack, let me tell you. Hero's first time in Bright Falls. Wait, what is this? A different game? Come on, man. Set up a facility. The lake house. If I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, I would have just kept on driving. What is the sound? Alan Wake 2, The Lake House. Okay, so we got a little expansion for Alan Wake. I still have to play the whole series. Give up the oh my god, there's the guns. We got some VR action. We in the club. Ain't no way bro couldn't take that in and he's fishing. You tell me you couldn't hear the water as he moved? Some good espionage music. Oh, the cleaver! Oh, 
Boy, whatever you put in that glass, that shit was green. Hitman World of Assassination. The, the, it didn't look as impressive as the other VR games so far, though, which is interesting. If you know the truth, I stood with Kane and my brethren. Legacy of Kane? Soul Reaver? Is it like a, a remaster? Agony. The fate of this world was okay, yeah. Remaster. <clears throat> what madness is this? I never played Legacy of Kane, but this was like one of the was it, dare I say was it PS2? This was like one of the earlier PS1, PS2. I think it was PS2 to be honest. But when this was out, I was more on like a, I was more on like a JRPG phase. Like I, I wasn't really interested in things that looked medieval and and Western, if that makes any sense. Like if, if it didn't have a certain like art style, I wasn't about it. So that's why I never played Legacy of uh, Legacy of Kane. I think is what it was called, Legend of Kane, Soul Reaver. Oh, damn. The future has always been written. That voice does not match his face. Don't fight it, Tracia. Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver 1 and 2 remastered. That would have been a perfect opportunity for a brand new game, I can't lie to you. Games from the original PlayStation era. Maybe the remaster is a way for them to like test interest and like build a bit of a community before getting a, a part three, you never know. Also inspired Fear the Spotlight from Blumhouse Games. It brings atmospheric polygonal scares to PS5 and PS4 on October 22nd. Just go home, Viv. I'm happy here. They always use that one long hair design, eh? Like from the person from the well? We've returned to our ancestral land. A gas block. What is this? Villages and nurture vast ecosystems in Towers of Agazba. Little farming sim action. includes unique creatures, a peculiar cast of characters, and also allows you to invite other players to visit your island. This world looks very interesting. Towers of Agazba launches into early access this November. Early access is poison in my ear. Games brings a split screen mode to Lego Fortnite this October. This feature enables friends and family to explore the world and build villages together while playing on the same PS5 or PS4. <laughs> And another <laughs> yeah, we live in a time where they got to make an announcement for split screen support. Split screen used to be a given, man. That shit was a given. If a game was multiplayer, you're damn right. You're going to have a local split screen mode. Why not? Next, it's one versus 1000 in Dynasty Warriors. Origins. Yo, Dynasty Warriors Koei still Tenko going. Games is ready to share the release date. Let's take a look. Let's see if they made like significant changes to the Muso system, man. Like, my main issue has always been the enemy AI. So that's what I'm focusing on. And find a way to survive. So choose your path wisely. Go forth and learn what it means to be a hero. Oh, that rain looks nice. Okay, so I, I guess I shouldn't expect them to be a little any more intelligent than they are. Ooh, that charge is dope. Imagine they add some strike force shit where you turn into the ethereal um super f transformation. The die has been cast. All that remains is to see this through. Damn. This seems hella active though like once you're in the thick of it it, it, it looks hype.
I like it. I like it. I like it. It's one of those things where Jan 17, it's one of those things where you got to understand like what a Muso is, the culture, and it, it, you're meant to feel like a super badass. You're supposed to be juggling mad niggas with a simple combo. Like, it, it, I just wish like at least the generals and the main, the mini bosses, they have more difficulty to them because I like some difficulty to a fight, but I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on this one just in case, but I may not play it since it's PS5 exclusive. If it does come to PC, then we're cooking. Monster Hunter? Oh, but of course. I need to stop oh, seeing this game, though. I feel like I've seen enough. I don't want to, like, over... overdo it. Yeah, like, I watched a lot of... Ooh. We got another monster. Ooh! Yo! That looks dope! And massive, bro. Yo, I like this. I love water bosses. The wave thing was sick. Oh, and look at the water. This locale is beautiful, man. <laughs> look at this. That new area looks so good. The Palico's turning up. Look at this. Apex Predator. Yes. I feel like I'm getting spoiled by so much, but it's fine. Is that what we're after? The white wraith. What is that thing? An extinct species. You're a hunter. You've got a weapon and you do nothing. Nah, this game gonna be crazy, man. Listen, man, I need to not see anything else. This is it. February 28th. I need to not see anything else from Monster Hunter. I feel like I've seen enough. I've seen the gameplay, the demos, the, the, the weapon demonstrations. It, the more I see, it's going to make me not want to buy it on day one because it, it would have felt like I've already played it. That's it. A New Horizon? Original adventure Horizon Zero Dawn is being remastered for PS5 and PC by Gorilla and Nixes. Was this a VR Horizon game? Zero what? Dawn Remastered includes more than 10 hours of re recorded conversation mocap and countless graphical improvements that bring the game to the same visual fidelity as Horizon Forbidden West. Ooh, I gotta play this, man. This looks so interesting. I've always been intrigued, but just never got around to it. This new version of Horizon Zero Dawn will arrive October 31st. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. You remember when I said, oh, was this a VR version? For some reason, I, I just, I thought it was Horizon. And then they called it Zero Dawn because it was like the prequel, if that makes any sense. So I thought like by itself, it was just Horizon. And then, you know, but this is actually Horizon Zero Dawn, so the actual first game remastered. I'm a goddamn idiot. I'm done. New content is on the way to the action-packed world of Star I still gotta play this. A new photo mode lets players set up the perfect picture with your choice of poses, expressions, and filters. Hey, I'm looking forward to this coming to PC, man. Stellarblade's original soundtrack featuring over 180 songs from the game is available on select streaming services starting today. Hey! PC? But that's not all. Of course, 2B gonna get thrown into this in some form. Sci-fi 
worlds collide in the Stellar Blade and Near Automata collaboration, coming to Stellar Blade later this year. I feel like whenever I see Near Automata, I feel a great depression. You know what I'm saying? I feel a great depression. The same depression I feel when I look at Xenoblade 3. Both games had worlds that made me very depressed. You know what I'm saying? And, and coming down to the end of Automata, oh my god, that shit got to... <laughs> that shit got extremely depressing, man. So when I see 2B, I'm like, fuck. I need, I, I need like, um, what do you call it? Is it melatonin to get your mood up? Or something like that, man. I don't know. When's the PC release of Stellar, though? Now let's talk about what's ahead for PlayStation Plus. Oh. First, your monthly games for October are WWE 2K24, Dead Space, and Doki Doki Literature. I haven't had to deal with this for a long time, man. PlayStation Plus members starting October 1st. That PC life been real good. Meanwhile, our library of PlayStation classics continues to grow, with two more fan favorites from the original PlayStation arriving later this year. Oh, yeah? Blood Omen, Legacy of Kane, and Capcom's Dino Crisis. Listen to me. Don't sleep on that. Dino Crisis, hey. I feel like, hey, Capcom, what you doing? What you doing slipping Dino Crisis there, man? I got my eye on that shit. They might be testing the waters, man. Capcom on a generational run right now, so I wouldn't put it past them. Naughty Dog fans know September 26th is the last of us day, and we're celebrating- Wait, there's an actual day? ...acclaimed PS5 hit, The Last of Us Part 1, to the PlayStation Plus game catalog this Thursday. Bro, how many times are they gonna res this game? Holy shit. Final game? Oh, it's like controllers. This is a weird looking controller. Oh, is this the Pro? I heard some things about this. That was a lot of time just showing us three controllers in a PlayStation. The Chroma Collection. Y'all couldn't just expand this screen right here. Y'all had to waste all that animation budget, all that time. And yo, I guarantee you that shit took a nigga at least two months to do. All that time you could have saved. You could have just like expanded the screen and faded all three versions in. Man, y'all got too much money to waste, man. Which is surprising considering what happened with Concord. <laughs> I immediately think of Ghost of Tsushima. You a genius. <clears throat> immediately. I still haven't played it yet, though. Fuji-san? People come north to disappear. Oh, that's Mount Yote? Okay, my bad. My B. But you... You... Are hunting. Sucker Punch? I cannot believe this is going to be a still think you're the hunter. I haven't even played the first one. I th I think it's ghost. Okay, maybe I got a bad read here. My bad. Oh, shit. What? I still gotta play the first one, man. Ooh, this is looking stellar. Nah, this is beautiful. What the fuck?
Is this the final game? I think it has to be. Please don't spoil any- I like- I feel like it's gonna show me something. Okay, we're good. Bro. Ghost of Yote? Nah. Sucker Punch has found the glitch. They found the glitch. Oh no, it's, oh my god, I shouldn't have paused. Is that the final one? I wanted to be surprised. Okay, so that is it. So we got Ghost of Yote, a little Astrobot, um, Hell is Us, the Midnight Walk. Some interesting things out there. A little bit of Dragon Age as well. What I like about Ghost is it's like Sucker Punch's evolution because they found something they could they could, I guess, make a series out of outside of Infamous, right? Same with Horizon and, and Gorilla. I think Gorilla does it, right? They used to do Kill Zone. So I guess we won't be seeing a new Infamous, which is fine. They found their new avenue. They could do Ghost of Yote, Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Damn, The Abyss. Very interesting, though. I, I, honestly, this was a good watch. Nothing too crazy announced, but some fantastic looking experiences nonetheless. The Midnight Walk was a cool watch. Actually, I want to hear that music. I want to hear this music. Um, thanks for watching. Anytime, man. And then there was Arc Age as well. Arc Age Chronicles. Oh my lord. So many good things, man. Honestly, I think Sony had a good showing as well as the last Xbox one I watched also. I think in general, 2025 is going to be a crazy year for gaming. But here's the thing, though. We haven't seen the most important presentation of the year yet. We all know what it is. I know what it is. It's the announcement of that Switch successor. I'm telling you, man, we haven't seen anything new console wise from Nintendo in years, bro. So while this is exciting, the Xbox one is exciting. I'm very pumped to know I got one more of these kinds of videos for the year. So if you are enjoying this content, be sure to tune in, stay in the loop, hit that like button, hit the sub button, show your boy some love, and I'll see y'all for the next video, man. Peace out.